Hello YouTube, it's the Utopian Buddha. So is it possible for you to live in a state of constant gratitude, continuous gratitude, continuous wonder, continuous joy, and a continuous insight or peering into the mystery of existence? That indefinable quality is like, you know, I was just walking down this forest trail er earlier and I just was looking at the trees and it, they just felt so mysterious and full of life and wonder. And, and it was just so such a weird but mysterious but wonderful feeling. It was a really great feeling. So if you're able to tap into that state of constant joy, constant gratitude on a regular basis, and you mix that with a good habits, good habits, a healthy lifestyle, um, and certain yogic practices, certain practices in, in yoga and meditation, what that does is it builds up your energy field. It builds up your aura, right? And if you've already tasted the ananda, the bliss of the of the infinite self, like I have in my early 20s, your, your energy field is light. It it's only builds up faster. You become very aware of the subtle energies of your body and you do the work to transmute those subtle energies into something more refined and something with a po more powerful aura that has the capacity to influence the people around you. I mean, I figured, I found out that when I was at this place called Yogaville, right? As the months passed by, my energy field built to this incredible, I mean, it wasn't super powerful because I'd, I'd, I've, I've been deprogramming years of bad habits. Um, but but my I felt my energy field getting more powerful. Um, and now that I'm here at Isha, Tennessee uh, with Satguru, the same thing is happening all over again. But for me, I've, I suffer from marijuana addiction. And what these bad habits do is they poke holes in your energy field and they make your energy weaker. But if you have that powerful aura, um, you can really get things done in this world, right? If, if, you, if you're inspired by a vision and you have a powerful, positive energy field, you can literally change the world. Namaste, guys. Hello, YouTube. It's the Utopian Buddha. For some reason now, shorts have to be... I mean, a real video has to be three minutes long, so I'm just going to talk about whatever for the next 30 seconds so I can make a, sh make a video that's over three minutes long because I don't want this video to be a short. I want to put up a title for the video, which is just so annoying, man. Why does YouTube do this stuff, man? I like the fact that shorts, c I can make a video that's one minute long, man. Man, YouTube just be messing, messing up my game plan, bro. And my hair, my hair is so curly these days. I just have to waste time for 30 seconds so I can like make a YouTube video that's over three minutes long. All right. I think I've got it now.